Hey everybody, this is Kevin Crouch with Ellis County Weather, and I want to bring you a weekend outlook that I think you might enjoy. Uh, first, I want to talk about uh, something new, as you see behind me on the screen. Uh, there is an Ellis County, fan, Ellis County Weather fans uh, group that when you become a subscriber, you can be a part of that group and see some of the uh, exclusive content that is there. One of the things that I have going on right now that I just posted there today uh, is a video explaining how I do my uh, severe weather broadcast, how I actually do the severe weather coverage, the live coverage here in the Weather Center. So uh, if you want to become a supporter and see that exclusive uh, content, please go to the Facebook page uh, and, uh, and become a supporter. And, and you're helping Ellis County Weather continue to do uh, all the things that I do. So uh, definitely become a supporter today. Check out that video. I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, there will be more exclusive content there. This is kind of my busiest time of year uh, in, during my day job. So unfortunately, things like the Wild Weather Wednesdays and some of the other things that I like to post haven't really happened as much, but I want to make sure uh, to bring that back to you soon. I also want to talk about how this is sponsored by the Arcade. And uh, they have new fall hours. So they had summer hours when school was out. Now with school coming back, uh, there are different hours here. So uh, Monday is still for private uh, parties. They're closed. So that's just for private events. Uh, Tuesday through Thursday, it's 3 to 9 p.m. Friday, 3 to 11 p.m. Saturday, noon to 11 p.m. And Sunday, noon to 9 p.m. So um, Tuesday through Thursday, they're going to close at 9. Friday, they're open later. Saturday, they're open later. And then Sunday, close at 9. So uh, those school nights are going to close a little earlier. And uh, so they're, you know, they're just kind of helping us all getting back into that uh, regular fall routine. So uh, there's also the uh, Basement Brawlers. I talked about that a little bit uh, this past weekend as well. So go check out that uh, on their Facebook page as well. Every Tuesday night, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate uh, Tournaments, they're really fun. So let's go ahead and get into this forecast because there's a lot to talk about. I want to start with Friday night. It's going to be partly cloudy with lows in the mid-70s, pretty much an, a normal evening. And then here's when things get interesting. On Saturday, we're looking at a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms with highs in the mid-90s. And uh, these showers and thunderstorms will predominantly be in the afternoon. So a 40% chance on Saturday. Saturday night, a slight chance of storms. Seems like some of these may linger into Saturday night. Lows will be in the mid-70s, pretty normal. Then Sunday, we start out with about a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, and then that's going to increase to 50% chance later in the day. And the highest will actually only be in the low 90s uh, for Sunday, so it's going to be a little cooler. And uh, then Sunday night, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms for, uh, for that period, and then lows again in the mid-70s. So what I want to talk about here is that at the moment, uh, we are not looking at a huge, severe weather opportunity here, uh, but it, it is possible that we could see some heavier rain with some of these and some gusty winds. I was just talking to Matt, the moderator today, um, known affectionately by his nickname as Matt the Mod. He's going to hate that I said that, but hey, it's, it's a reality. Uh, we were talking today about how fall seems to have a lot of heavy rain and flood issues that go on. It just seems to be more of an issue uh, in the fall than it is in the spring. And so uh, we could see some heavier downpours and anytime you have those heavier downpours, sometimes you're gonna get some of that urban street flooding, that sort of thing, uh, or areas that, you know, areas in the country too that have more uh, flood prone areas or flood and more flood issues should be keeping an eye on some of these showers and thunderstorms on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so I think that's going to be the main concern. I don't see a whole lot of hail happening here. Uh, certainly not much of a tornado risk or anything like that. But uh, mostly you're going to be watching for some heavier downpours and then possibly some gusty winds with those showers, thunderstorms as well. But I'm going to keep an eye on that uh, just to uh, make sure that we don't have anything too unruly uh, going on with those storms. And we could be seeing more showers and thunderstorms into next week. So be, uh, be staying tuned for next week's forecast as well. For now, I hope that uh, all the kiddos that have gone back to school already are having a good start to the year. I hope that the kids that will be going back soon uh, have a good uh, a good start. Uh, my son uh, just started today. He's already having a really, really good time. Uh, so it was great to, to take that next step with him. Uh, again, go check out the exclusive content. Become a supporter on Facebook. Check out the exclusive content where I kind of give a tour of this whole setup behind me and explain how I would do everything. 
and uh, how I keep you informed during severe weather season. Uh, for now, stay tuned to next week. There might be more rain on the way.